What's going on everybody? It is Triple Crown 24 back today. I've got a mail day video, some live auction pickups. Sorry if I sound a little funny today. If you saw my last care package video, I kind of tell you what's been going on with me. Um, it's getting better, I will say. I recorded this on a separate day than the last one and it's it's getting better. So sorry for not getting this out sooner, but went back to the auction stream of Mike O and Ed Westergriff. Always a good time. Hang, just hanging out, but they have a lot of cards that I like to buy. Uh, so I'll show you what I got, and then I have one card at the end that uh, kind of blew my mind, and I felt it in the package, and, I'm, and I had a feeling I knew what it was, and then I pulled it out. I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. This is too cool. So save that for the end. We've got a little Philly support here. Uh, J.P. Crawford signed Philly's ice cream dish, one of the most interesting items I have in my PC. So got to bring that out for... The Phillies fans who hooked me up with these uh, cards on their live auctions. So go check them out. They do them like bi-weekly every Monday. Might be a little slower right now because those two gentlemen have a lot going on. But uh, when you when you can catch them, they're definitely a good time. So I got this letter from Mike to kick it off, which is really cool. This will go in my YouTube PC. I need to get a binder for that going. He tells me, congrats on one year on YouTube as part of the content community. You do a great job on your videos. Keep up the amazing work and do the videos that make you happy. I'm sure your channel will continue to grow with the work you put into it. Good luck to the Tigers. Thank you for the continued support, Mike O. Well, Mike, that is very kind. I really appreciate that. Um, I really appreciate the kind words in there. So, Kicking it off, we have... I bought a couple of... Oh, I... They're in a couple of uh, team bags here. I won't take these out, but I bought a box of Chrome Update, one of the mega boxes from Ed. This is the second time that I have done so. I got a Robles rookie. I've got, um, who's some of the big names in here? I forget all, all the big names I got, but there was no Soto or no Acuna, but pretty much like all the other big rookies. I think Reese Hoskins was the other one was in here as well. So I was able to pull rookies of those two guys. I'm just going to stash those, maybe put them in a future PSA submission. But Ed had them up there, and you can't find those things around here. There's a guy who buys up all the Bowman Mega Boxes or any of the hot Mega Boxes. So you're lucky to find any of them around the area that I'm at. So I'm, I'm very thankful that I was able to get a couple from Ed here and, and try them out myself. I forget whose card this was. I want to say this was Mike's, but this could be Ed's. It's a 2018 Chrome Update Ian Kinsler autograph. I like Kinsler a lot, and I sold the autograph I had of his a while back. And here he is on the Red Sox from their 2018 championship team. This one's number to 50. I really like the 2018 design, and Kinsler was a Tiger for a long time. So he's not in the Tigers uniform, but this is a really sharp-looking card. I love the gold parallels from these, so... There I go ahead and add that one into my collection, just my obscure autographs. Next up, this is an oddball card from my collection, but I have a reason for it. 1996 Topps Mickey Mantle, and this came the year after he passed away. So as a tribute, what Topps did is that they put this card into packs and a lot of different packs or products, I should say. They had tribute cards to Mantle, various sets as well because mantle is pretty much the face of tops i mean that first tradition traditionally set excuse me a little tongue tied there of 1952 the 52 mantle is the most iconic tops card of all time there's that word iconic um, but this is card number seven in the set so what they did is they would um some years they've had a mantle in the set various sets as card number seven they haven't done it in recent years uh, but in some sets as well, he is number seven was retired, so there would just be no card number seven in a set. So that's kind of cool. This is actually part of Mike Payne's 300 great baseball cards of the 20th century, and it looks pretty good overall. I am considering maybe sending this off to PSA just to have a slab version of this in my collection. I don't really mind too much if it's a nine, a ten, or an eight, whatever it may be. But it looks really sharp. Uh, I have you know, to take it out and take a closer look. But good looking card. Just wanted to get that. I think it was like maybe a dollar or two. And thought that was a pretty cool deal. And then we have some 1969 top slots. So I haven't really gone through these or seen who's in them. I'm going to open them up actually here on camera. What I was just thinking of these is that if there's possibly any like high numbers in here by any chance for the Tigers team set to kind of just add those in there maybe some players that i recognize if not 
feel like this guy was a tiger at some point. This long last name I recognize. If not, I might send these off for TTMs for some of these guys who are still around. They're good cards to get signed TTM. And a lot of times some of the older players you can have some pretty good interactions with. So I'm not going to call out all the names here, but if you guys maybe see someone that you like in here, there's some rookies. Ray Euler was a former Tiger. Um, but yeah, and I've learned a little bit about these players. Gates Brown, and I think... I'm going to have to take a look at this one. I think I might actually be missing this one for my Tigers team set, which that would be pretty sweet if that was the case. I just bought a huge lot, and you guys will see that in one of my upcoming videos. I've been very busy in the Tigers team set. I think once I get in all of my shipments, um, which might take like up to a month because I have some at Com C still that I haven't even requested to be shipped, I'll probably be within 100 cards. Here's Willie Horton. Um, with Hawk Harrelson and Frank Howard and Elite Leaders card. That's a really cool one. Some of the other ones as well. Canigliario. I am definitely butchered that name, but he was a pretty good player as well. That's a Rusty Staub, a good player. Sandy Alomar. So there's some names in here that I definitely uh, recognize, but there's some too that I'm going to go back and just kind of learn about the players. And if I can, you know, send some of these off TTM and write to some of these players as well. That's Something that I really enjoyed doing is buying some of the vintage cards for a couple bucks at maybe my LCS. And then going back later on and, you know, picking them up and trying to send them off TTM. I also got one pack of 2018 Bowman. If you spent $15, you get this little freebie here. I've got one more card to show off after this um, that I would say is my favorite card among the bunch. But I want to show off this pack first. And this pack is starting off really nice walker bueller rookie i'm going to set that one off to the side very good getting all the rookies in this pack look at that five rookies in a row kiebert ruiz who i believe is a pretty good ttm center i might be thinking of someone else there's tyler o'neill jordan hicks first prospect card he's really tearing it up so that's a really good one quentin holmes is a good ttm signer so that was a pretty good pack we got the uh bueller rookie and uh, a couple of possible TTM candidates there as well. So thank you, Mike, for that one. And then he sent along this. So I, I bugged Mike about this card because I saw it in one of his PSA submissions and I asked him about it to see if he uh, if he would be willing to sell it because this is a set that I have not seen too much. I don't have a raw version of this card at all. It's for my Cabrera collection. And uh, sure enough, it, it wound up in my package. And I, kind of the story is that I was feeling around to kind of like get the, uh, all the cards out. And I felt the slab in there. I'm like, I don't remember if I bought a slab in this one. I, what did I buy? And then I saw the corner of it. I'll try to just show you what I saw on camera here. I saw this uh, peeking out of the package. I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. This is, this is too cool. And it's in a perfect fit sleeve too, which I'm like running dangerously low on them. So thank you for that. But... Check this out. Boom. For the Miguel Cabrera registry, the tops on demand 3D set. This is just so cool. I love these 3D cards. I saw like a couple of them in a card shop that I went to while I was on my spring training trip. And I was like, dang, I wonder if they put out one for Cabrera. Because tops, like, they totally neglect the Tigers on the online exclusives. The Tigers have like the least amount of cards in the tops now run last year. And then they have the least amount of cards tied with the Royals among the active teams in the living set. So I usually like don't expect the Tigers to ever have any representation in the tops online products. And then when I saw that Cabrera was in the set, I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. I missed out on that Cabrera because I love the 2018 design. And sure enough, here it is in a gem mint 10. In the Lighthouse Flip from one of Mike's PSA submissions. This is just so cool. Love this card. So, Mike, thank you so much. This is this is pretty sweet. I guess they don't put everybody in this set because this is card number 65, and he's like card number 90 in 2018 tops, if I remember correctly. I was just looking at my 2018 tops yesterday. Look at that card. It's kind of got the sports flicks feel to it where the crowd in the background... And it keeps kind of like a still image of the player. The bat feels like it's on a different like plane as well from the um, from the rest of Cabrera's body in the picture. Like you can see the different levels here too. It's really well done by Tops. I don't know how they I don't know how they do this, but 
that's why they make cards and I don't. So thank you so much, Mike. This card means a lot to me. That's really cool. I'm going to have to talk about it a little bit more in my set registry video. So thank you so much for watching. Again, guys, if you're not familiar with Mike O and Ed Wesker Griff, I'm sure you are. But if you're not, go check them out. Links in the description down below. And also hit the notification bell on their channel if you really like um, their videos. You will be notified whenever Mike goes live for his live auction. So if you're not... Um, if you're not paying attention on a Monday night and you see that he goes live, it's a good time. He usually goes from like 8 to midnight Eastern time. And even if you just hang out and chat, there's usually a lot of people there. You can meet some new YouTubers as well. I've met quite a few guys from uh, just going in there and, and participating in the live stream. And I also get to tell all my bad jokes as well, which I don't have too many places to do that other than these videos I make. So always appreciated to uh, have a place to practice my comedy routine. But Thank you again for watching. Thank you again, Mike. And thank you again, Ed, as well. Appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.